Hey there, so today we have a beer talk and this is a fun one. This is talking about drinking uncomfortably and drinking many different styles of beers. And so this is a recent memory that I had um, uh, talking, uh, doing advanced Cicerone class, Brian Reed, one of the master Cicerones I've seen in the world, uh, you know, fantastic palate. And uh, he made a good comment and it's something like I've learned from um, tasting as well that um, he's, he's, you know, uh, taught classes and trained with group palates. And um, so he, he was talking to somebody who was in the industry within like, you know, maybe a year or two. And he honestly said that they probably have a good a hard time sort of um, doing this as own program because your knowledge of styles and, and examples of beers is maybe not quite there after a few years because you've only tasted so many beers, right? Um, in my experience, I've been doing this for now, what, 12, or no, sorry, eight years now, 2012. And so something like that, it's, it's been a journey. And through that journey, you know, there's years I've been trying thousands and thousands of beers now, slow down a lot more, but um, it's so important to really drink uncomfortably, especially studying for certified cicerone, it's important to drink uncomfortably and go to breweries or bars and not order the thing you usually order it. You know, maybe don't, Order the simple hazy IPA, you know, I, I, I gravitate towards those, something like that. Like, uh, order the Kolsch, you know, rice or Kolsch, is that on tap? Order it. Uh, Chimay on tap, boom. Uh, I remember studying for certified cicerone, I ordered a Sierra Nevada Bigfoot. I know I hate, this, hate that beer, but I ordered it and tasted it. And you have to drink uncomfortably and you have to, you know, go to the store and maybe not just get the hype things off the can, uh, off the shelves, um, not get like just simply what you generally get week to week. And I've, I've seen that with certified cicerones that they're tasting these beers and like, wow, like, why am I drinking these beers regularly? I need to find uncomfortableness and find my weaknesses. And one of mine is just not drinking a British beer. British beer. I need to uh, drink more of those. And so drink uncomfortably. That's what I'm doing right now. Find some styles you haven't had ever or recently and try them out. And um, you're going to learn a lot more. I think your enjoyment of beer is going to get way better because you, you're going to find why your palate. You're going to definitely not like a lot of these beers same way that I did in my early ages. But, you know, as you go on and on, it takes time and takes time. You get tired and you find <laughs> more and more expensive palates. And you find that actually the shelf is actually one of the great places to enjoy beer. Uh, the uncomfortable place on a bar uh, menu is <laughs> one of the uncomfortable places to enjoy beer. If you find it, like, wow, that is so different. You know, you're, you're so locked in on what your palate really um, expects. But um, finding those important beers and delicious beers is always the goal. And so um, even though somebody within a couple of years might not completely grasp, like the, the BJCP has, um, I mean, for advanced and master, you're looking at something like 100 styles almost or something like that. And then you're talking about examples within each of those. So let's nicely say there's three within. So now you're talking about at least 300 beers you want to sort of like have a palette of. And so if you've never had one of those before, how are you gonna name it on the test? And that's not only for studying, but it's also just for your benefit of um, enjoying the wide range of what's available. But I'm not saying that has to be the case. If you wanna enjoy local, enjoy what you like, trade for what you like, it is what it is. It's completely cool. Uh, but I also think you're missing a lot out on tradition and the wide range of like, you're going to find some classics that are shelfies and you realize, why did I waste my money on these hype ones? Chase after this, chase after that. You're going to find some great shelfies. And the shelfies are consistent, delicious. And uh, yeah, so uh, enjoy the ramble. Until next time, guys. Great beer talk. Cheers. Later.